Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and two questions of the day. First question, which of the following is correct? And here's the following statements. Take a look. Everything you have to know in order to answer this question that in double-stranded DNA, adenine base pairs with thymine and cytosine base pairs with guanine. I have a mnemonic technique for you, so you would memorize which bases makes double bond and triple bond. Take a look. Cytosine looks similar to guanine, just by appearance only. This is not scientific method, it's just mnemonic technique. So just like two relatives that looks similar, they would have more bounding between them. So they have triple bond between them. And adenine and thymine don't look like their relatives, so they have least bounding between them, they have two hydrogen bonds between them. Again, this is not scientific explanation, it's just mnemonic technique. So now we can choose the correct answer, and this is answer D. So adenine forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine, and guanine forms three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. And next question, Chargov found that for DNA, and we have to choose one of these statements. Take a look. If we'll have 10% in our double-stranded DNA adenine, because adenine always bears pair only with thymine, that means in this double-stranded DNA, we are going to have 10% of the thymine. Together, these two bases make 20%. That means that the rest, 80% would be cytosine and guanine. That means that 40% are going to be cytosine, and 40% is going to be guanine. Let's change uh, numbers. For example, let's say we'll have 15% adenine. That means that we are going to have 15% thymine in our double-stranded DNA. Together, it's going to be 30%. Then the rest, cytosine and guanine, would make 70%. That means that we are going to have 35% cytosine and 35% guanine. It is just enough to know frequency of one base and we can tell the frequency of the three other base. It can be any base, we can start with guanine and find the frequency of the other three bases. We can start with cytosine and find the frequency of the other three bases. Now we can choose the correct answer, it's going to be answer B. So adenine base pair with thymine, and the ratio is going to be one to one, and guanine base pair with cytosine, and ratio is going to be one to one. So the correct answer is answer B, but let's also check the statement D. Let's say we have a sequence of the double-stranded DNA as follows, A, A, and C, C, C. Then the other strand of the DNA is going to be T, T, and G, G, and G. And using this simple example, you see that we have 2A and 2T, so A plus T is going to be 2 plus 2. And here we have 3C and 3G, so C plus G is going to be 3 plus 3. No, it doesn't work like this. So the last statement is wrong. But if you'll take, for example, bases A plus G, then they would equal C plus T. One more time, if you take bases that doesn't pair, for example, thymine and cytosine, and frequency of these two bases would equal frequency of the adenine and guanine. Or if you'll take thymine and guanine, the frequency would equal to frequency of the adenine and cytosine. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.